Good morning guys, it is Arika Misha. Uh, just coming with you uh, this morning and I'm gonna be cooking some chicken and waffles. Yes, chicken and waffles. I have here my Crustes um, Light and Crispy Belgium Waffle Mix. All I have to do is add egg and oil. So I am ready to start getting my mix together. And let's read the back. I'm gonna go with the four to five um, pancakes, I'm sorry, waffles, because um, I've got a, I'm gonna use my mini waffle maker this morning. So I'm gonna go with the three cups of the mix, one and a half cup of water, and two cups of eggs, and one third cup of oil. And I've got my waffle maker behind us warming up. So let's get this mix ready. All right, that is three cups of the mix. And I've got my one cup and my one third cup. So let me make sure you guys can see. Yep. Let's see how I want to do this. Okay, one cup of mix. Eh. get this mix going okay so we need to do three cups of the mix all right so we've got one cup of mix that in with this box so you guys can see. Pancake and waffle mix is always such a mess. So messy. Right. Okay, got two cups. Go ahead and do. I'll stay stick to the three cups. Like I said, it looks like a lot of mix, but once I add the water and oil, it'll one more scoop in there. All right, three cups, three cups of mix. Got that done. Move that out of the way. Three cups of our mix, one and one third cups of water. Okay, one and one third cup. All right, one cup of water, and our third cup. Third cup of water. All right, and we need two eggs. Last but not least, our third cup of oil. Um, use whatever oil you like. Um, I am using my Filippo Barrero oil. I'm, I'm sure I messed that all up, but okay. All right, and we've got our one third cup of oil. One third cup of oil. Move these out of the way. Put my oil away. And let's make sure you guys can see. Zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see a little better. Okay. Pull it back here. Make sure you guys can see. Hmm. All right, let me 
get you guys so you guys can see here. All right. Let's get it all mixed up. Because our waffle maker is, um, all right, it's ready over there. So let's get the mixing. And I'm using a regular fork. Depends on what I'm mixing. I'm going to use this fork to make sure I get everything mixed up. Mix, 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 mix. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. Just want to make sure you're able to see me mixing this up. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Make sure you scrape the bottom, make sure everything is getting mixed, the sides. All right, let me move my fork out the way. And let me switch to my handy dandy spatula here. Make sure I get the bottom all scraped up. Make sure you guys can see. Let me bring you guys in. I think I'm going to have to raise you guys up a little bit. But you know what? I'll let you stay like that. You can see like that. All right. I'm going to have to zoom y'all in a little bit. All right. That's good. I'm just mixing the mix up. Y'all ain't got to be all in my business for that. We just mix in the mix. All right. Looks good. Well mixed. Let me look, peek under the bottom there. Everything looks good under there. Scrape that bottom once again to make sure everything is mixed, mixed, mixed. All right. Everything looks good on the sides. One more big mix, mix, mix. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. All right, let's go and get this cooked up. Wash my hands. some waffles over here all right let's get you guys spent around to the stove over here while I've got our little mini waffle maker over here bring you guys down a little bit more to see it here goes my little mini waffle maker don't laugh at my waffle maker it's a little cute little mini waffle maker it's cute all right here y'all go Y'all can see, got it all plugged up. It is, it is ready to cook the waffles. All right, all I gotta do is uh, open up. Make sure y'all can see, open up. I'm spraying, spraying, making sure nothing ain't gonna stick. And get my mix in there. Drop my mix. Gotta fill this thing out. I don't want to overfill it. Get them holes filled up. All right. Look like we got enough mix. Let's close it up. Uh oh. Don't be overflowing. Don't be overflowing. All right. Let's get it closed up. It looks looks a little questionable, but it's, it's doing what it needs to do. Looks a little questionable. Get y'all over here so y'all can see. Try to see if I can turn my little waffle maker around. Okay. That's cute. That's good. It looks good. So, 
All right, y'all. Got the waffle in the uh, little mini waffle maker, so I'll be back when I'm ready to take that waffle out. Hopefully, this turns out good, y'all. Pray for me. All right, guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I'm back. I timed it. It's been about four minutes. So, because I want to kind of get a feel for the time, like how long it's taken them. That looks pretty good. That looks good. Let me see. A little waffle. Look at that little waffle. That's cute. My little waffle. That's cute, guys. It's a cute little mini waffle. That is so cute. I got my plate all ready for it over here. All right. Let's get the spraying and let's get the moving. Let's get these get these little mini waffles ready. One spoonful is good enough. Yep, one spoon. Just measuring it out. Ooh. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about overflowing. All right, y'all. Y'all see me? I'm cooking up the waffles. My little mini waffles. It ain't taking but maybe like three minutes, three and a half minutes um, for them to cook. They're cooking quick. Let me show y'all my little plate I got over here with my little waffle on it. It's so cute and it smells good too. It smells real good. Look at that. Little cute little mini waffle. That's a nice size little mini waffle though. Don't laugh at my waffle, y'all. It's cute. Or whatever. All right. Let me get these waffles cooked up. And um, I'll come back when I got all my waffles done. Y'all don't need to see me make all of them. So, y'all see me make them. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these waffles made. And then I'll come back um, and show you guys all the waffles done. And then we'll move on to our chicken for our chicken and waffle. All right, guys. I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back and I just wanted to show you what chicken strips I am using for the chicken. And this is the Publix Premium Chicken Tenderloins. They're a 24 ounce bag. They usually run about uh, eight bucks for a bag. So let me show you guys what I'm using for the chicken and waffles. Look at these Publix strips, chicken strips. Let me show you guys. Look at those strips. And these are Publix chicken strips. Look at them. They're thick. They are real thick. Hold on. Let me cut my alarm off, guys. Hold on a second. All right. Back to the chicken strips. The Publix chicken strips. Look at those. Nice and thick. Come in so you guys can really see them. Really nice and thick and chunky. And these are really good I'm talking really good like close to chick-fil-a good look at them guys and they're huge they are big you only need like one we only need one each and Publix gives you like five of them in the bag and they're really big I mean he ain't like this video sponsored by Publix or nothing but one day Publix gonna sponsor one of my videos I love Publix I'm gonna work with them but look at that Look at that huge chicken strip. That's that's enough for me. Y'all know I'm greedy. I love to eat food. So I got them in my air fryer. I've already got my um, air fryer uh, aluminum down in there. I sprayed it with a little oil so my food doesn't stick. And I'm going to stick this in the air fryer so these can cook while our waffles are cooking over here. And let's see. I'm going to leave it at the 360 temperature. I'm going to leave it at 360. And I'm going to leave it at the 15 minutes. I'll just leave it there. I'll come back and check on it in five minutes. Let's go over here and see what's going on with these waffles. What's going on with the waffles? Look at my waffles over there, y'all. Look at my waffles. Y'all see my waffles? It's time for me to take this other waffle out, so. Y'all hold on. Yep, that's my timer going off. Like I said, it only take, it's only taking them four minutes. So, that's what I've been keeping them timed to. Four minutes each. That's all it's taking, and I just peel them up actually. Peel them up. Just 
break, keep on moving. Pour it in there. Hey, 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 get back in there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, stop it. Oh, oh well, I think I might edit this part out. I think I put too much mix. I did put too much mix. All right. Yeah, I put too much mix. All right, well. Still looking good. Still looking good. Nothing we can't fix. All right, guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys. It sounds like um, my chicken is about done. I've got like two minutes left on the um, air fryer, but I'm going to go ahead and pull it out now. I think it's about done. I checked on it earlier, and I flipped them over. And, uh, yeah. They look great. Show you guys. They look great. They are done. Let me see. Yeah, they look great. I flipped them over. Flip it back over there. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, yeah. They are nice and hot. Okay. Yeah, they're done. They are done. And that's my timer going off for my waffle. Time to get my waffle out. Let you guys see that chicken. See if I can get it up here for you guys to see. Look at that chicken. Nice and crispy. Mm, mm, mm. Let me sit it back over there. All right, guys. We are wrapping it up. When I come back, we will have the finished breakfast. Okay guys, we are back. I just took the last waffle out and this is our completed breakfast chicken and waffles guys. Quick and easy. Uh, took the chicken about 10 minutes in the air fryer. Well, I did um, five and five on each side. 10 minutes in the air fryer, that's the Publix chicken uh, tenderloins in the black bag I showed you earlier. And my little mini waffle maker. Took the waffles about three, three and a half minutes each uh, to make. So. As you can see, I've got quite a few waffles and they cook fast. So this is breakfast, guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on all my social medias at Arika Misha on Instagram. Thank you guys so much. And don't forget, knowledge is power.